Hello Pisces. I am back you guys with another reading for you. We're going to see if the person that you are thinking about is coming back and um, if you guys getting back together is a likely result in the month of June. So again this reading is for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs and let's get started and see where you guys are at currently. And we have the Ten of Wands here. Hmm. After the Ten is the Ace of Wands starting over. There's something that you guys are wanting to wrap up here, I feel. Um, I feel like it's been a struggle. I feel like you're very, very tired. But um, you're almost there. There's something, some goal you're trying to reach. And I feel you guys, you know, being at the precipice, almost there. You know, that Sagittarius energy there. What's currently going on with that other person? What's currently going on with that other person? Queen of Swords. This person is wanting something from you. Wanting some sort of information, some sort of truth. That um, they feel like you've been holding back from them. I don't know if you guys are like excuse me, involved with someone or or working on something with someone currently, but there's something that this person wants to hear from you. This air energy here, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. What does Pisces want? What does Pisces want? What is it that Pisces wants? And we have the hermit here. I feel like you guys are looking for your soulmate. You're, you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing, where your destiny actually lies. And this is Virgo energy here with the hermit. But um, there's something very spiritual going on with you guys right now. And whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish um, you don't you don't want to you feel like there's not really much more room for mistake so you're really trying to get this shit right now okay <clears throat> what does the other person want what does the other person want what does the other person want three of wands here Aries energy this person wants you. They're waiting on you. They're waiting on you to see them. They're waiting on you to notice them. I'm hearing too that this person's waiting on you to come to your senses. Like, like they just know that they are what's best for you. But I don't see them like making a move towards you. They're waiting on you to come towards them like I'm just going to give them some time and, and they'll come back or they'll come to me. But there's something they're wanting to hear from you. Hear you admit something like that. Okay. What is it that Pisces needs? What is it? Knight of Chalices. You need some. You need a knight in shining freaking armor. Okay, that's what you need. You need somebody that's gonna not be afraid to show you just how much they love and care for you. Show you, tell you, express it is what you need. All this coldness and all this, um, you know, trying to be hard and sometimes people feel like that's the way to get somebody is if they you know be kind of cold and not really wear their heart on their sleeve and not show emotions they feel like that draws people in but what you need is for somebody to do the opposite okay show more masculine energy be more active and show you exactly how they feel Piscean energy, not Piscean, but uh, I feel like Scorpio energy here. I feel like Sagittarius is here too for some reason. I know Sagittarius is there, but yeah, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. What the other person needs is, what do they need? Oh, look at all that. You can't see all that, but look at all that. 
that's a lot. I can't lay all that down, but I do see the um, strength there. Temperance. I feel like this person needs to be strong enough to admit when things are not going so well or when they're wrong. This person has a hard time admitting when they're wrong. Then we have the Six of Wands here. We have the Chariot here. Do they like attention as well? We have the Princess of Swords. Like I said, they're waiting on you. The Princess of Swords does not um, engage a lot. You know, they they have a message. But they, they're not the ones to really carry through with that message. This person is more observing, you know. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. They need to decide what it is that they want to do. Because I feel, I feel them losing you. I feel you guys slipping away from this person. But again, you know, they're still sitting there waiting. Feeling like they have all the time in the world here with this Nine of Pentacles energy to live this single life, to do whatever 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 you know it's a lot going on here but bottom line is they need to be strong enough to uh tell you that they were wrong or admit when they're wrong take some accountability for their actions um you know if they want you then they just can't be out there dating and doing all this other stuff and using the fact that you guys are not currently together as an excuse to be out there doing all kinds of stuff you know that's just the bottom line so let's pull one card and see what is it that they need what do they need four of swords to sit down somewhere basically this is libra energy to sit down somewhere to take a time out think about what it is that they want what path they want to explore but this is needing some time to get your thoughts together. Stop hopping around all over the place. It's time to chill out. They need to chill out. Okay. Is there anyone else involved here for Pisces? Knight of Swords here. There's definitely someone here. I do feel like there's been a lot of communication with somebody. Somebody's telling you, they, they're just giving you a lot of information, a lot of communication. I don't know if it's a kind of communication that you are um, necessarily welcoming, you know, but I do get that there is something with some somebody going on here for a lot of you. Whether it's just phone conversations, maybe this person's not necessarily your type, but I mean, they are giving you something and they're not just like being closed mouth. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Is there somebody else in the picture for them? Is there somebody else in the picture for them? And we have the Nine of Cups here. I don't feel like there's any one... Um, in the picture not seriously anyway it could be uh, like a friend group they could be seeing somebody but I feel like this person's doing whatever they're doing what makes them happy but I feel like they want you as an option here they want to be with you but I don't know if this person's really ready or that serious about you know, uh, coming back yet? Let's see. Is it likely that this person will come back? Are they coming back? Three cards here. We have the world. Quite possibly. But I feel like this person has something else going on that you don't necessarily know about. I do feel like they want to start over, but I do feel also that they're doing whatever it is that they feel like they want to do here. Um, it could be like a sexual relationship with somebody that you 
don't necessarily know about here. Okay. But yes, they want you as well. So I don't know how that sits with you. But um, this is Capricorn um, Piscean energy as well with Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo energy here with the world energy. But there's something there's something about them that makes me feel like they want what they want when they want it, how they want it. And um, a very selfish type energy. But I don't feel like there's any one person in particular. Not seriously. Let me put it that way. They're not serious about um, someone if there is someone but I do feel like this person is uh, functioning as a single individual even though there's something that I feel like they may be hiding here with this high priestess energy and this devil some sexual relationship but they do want to start over with you Okay, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.